Uh, all right, we got one more for you. I wanted to do a little throwback clip because uh, February is Black History Month, as they say. Uh, that's what I'm told in my Google Calendar. And we found this video of Morgan Freeman on 60 Minutes, this is about 20 years ago, uh, talking to Mike Wallace about uh, the importance or perhaps the insignificance of Black History Month. Black History Month you find ridiculous. Why? You're gonna relegate my history to a month? Oh, come well, on. What do you do with yours? What, which month is White History Month? <laughs> no, well, no, no, come on, tell me. Well, the, I'm Jewish. Okay, which I'm month Jewish. is Jewish History Month? Uh, there isn't one. Oh, oh, why not? Yeah. Do you want one? No, no, no. I, 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 I don't either. I don't want a Black History Month. Black history is American history. How are we going to get rid of racism? Until... Stop talking about it. I'm going to stop calling you a white man. Yeah. And I'm going to ask you to stop calling me a black man. I know you as Mike Wallace. You know me as Morgan Freeman. You want to say, well, I know this white guy named Mike Wallace. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Pretty good, huh? Remember the old days when you could turn on network television and hear something that actually made sense? Um, look, we've got a month for everything. There's Gay Pride Month, there's Black History Month. We got months for all of these things. It's all of this sort of symbolic silliness. But the real moment in that, the, the kernel in that little video there, is when Morgan Freeman looks directly at Mike Wallace after he says he's Jewish and he goes, do you want one? Meaning, do you want a month? a Jewish history month. Maybe there is one. I actually don't even know. They probably added one since. Do you want one? And Mike Wallace is right. No, whoa, what, why would I want one of those, man? I don't want that. That tells you all you need to know. These things have nothing to do with solving the problems. We did such a freaking good job in America of solving these problems. Think about where we were at 10 years ago before we let wokeness and BLM and this modern pernicious racism of the left into the system. When we voted in that two-time black president, Barack Obama, with hope and change, whether you liked Obama or not, I mean, America did vote in a black president. How many European countries have black prime ministers, right? Like, we did something so well that we are watching a race right now, and Morgan's free, Morgan Freeman's broad point there is stop talking about it, meaning the more you obsess over it, the more you make it feel real. And the more that it feels real, the more people will act on that fake realism. And we'll all walk around thinking that everything is racist. So that's a great point. Morgan Freeman doesn't sit down in that interview and go, well, who am I talking to today? Oh, it's, it's, it's white anchor Mike Wallace. And I hope that Mike Wallace didn't sit down that day and go, who am I talking to? It's black actor Morgan Freeman. No one cares about this stuff anymore except the wokesters. Yes, is, are there 50 neo-Nazis somewhere? Yeah, there are. There are a couple. Do they have any institutional power? Does anyone give them the time of day? No. Should they be allowed to be outside holding a flag? Yeah, free speech, okay? But we have to get to the point, and we were so close. I mean, that's really the point. We were so close to getting to the point where we were post-race. And just as we were there, they pulled the rug out and now made everything about race. And we cannot let that, if America's gonna continue, we can't let it win. So that's what our work is. And uh, I like doing work.